If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a like it. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this image look like this one. So I want to cover how you can affect a specific color channel without going up to select and select color range. You can let Photoshop do the bulk of this kind of work for you. So if I want to change the hue or the color, same thing, of say the yellows in this image. We know that I go up to the hue and saturation adjustment layer and just click it. Now generally, if I were to grab the hue and saturation slider, it shifts all the colors in the image. Remember, we can always click the reset button if you've done something you don't like. It's doing it to the master. It's doing it to everything. So if you come over here and you choose yellows, now it's only going to affect the yellow channel and the edges of everything that would touch the yellow channel. Now watch what happens. So even though there's a little yellow in the brick, it's not shifting it that dramatically. So what I'd like for you to do is shift the color until it's kind of this warm, lighter orange feel, like not super saturated reddish orange, but more of a, of a this color. And then don't want the eyes to bleed. So maybe pull the saturation down a touch and the lightness, maybe bring up just a touch. Again, I'm gonna turn off my eyeball. So that's where it was. And actually I would say that the skin tone was actually contaminated a little bit with the yellow cast. So I actually think this adjustment makes the flesh tone look much, much better. And I love the overall image itself. Now to make it kind of pull together, I think these red shoes are out of place for me. So what I would do is I'd go to the background layer and here I would go up to select color range and then I would normally go select all of this. But what if, let me cancel that. What if I add another hue and saturation adjustment? I go here and choose reds. Let's see what happens. Well, unfortunately, what do we see? There's a lot of red in her skin tone, a lot of red in the bricks, and there's a little red in everything, right? So I have to decide. I can either do this, get the chew color to match the dress color, and then here with this mask selected, and I'll click on it so it'll load up here. I'll scroll down until I can see invert to hide everything. Command space bar to turn my cursor into a temporary magnification tool, release the command key, and just hold the space bar so I can click and drag to really fill my screen with what I wanna manipulate. And essentially, I want to reveal that new color, and I'm gonna do it by painting on this layer mask. I need to paint with white, currently black's in my foreground, so I'm gonna hit the X key to swap that. I'm gonna hit B for the brush tool to activate it. And then if you ever get to a situation where you only see a crosshair with your brush tool, Either your caps lock is on, which makes that outer roundness disappear, or my brush is bigger than my image area, which is probably true because I'm zoomed in to 400%. And look how big my brush is, 2200 pixels. I mean, that's giant. So here I would just go quickly drag that down. See, even at 70 pixels, that's pretty big. And then I'm going to paint. And it's okay if I go over onto the brick a little bit, because that shouldn't shift too much. Make my brush a little smaller. Ah, I'm painting with 50%. I want to paint with 100%. So I tap zero. You can drag it also to get to 100%. And I'm just going to, it's like coloring in a coloring book. I'm just holding my mouse down, make my brush a little bigger, to paint this a little quicker. I'll go ahead and paint over here. All right, it looks like there's a little bit of red in that brick back there. Make my brush a little smaller. Now here's a quick tip. If you click with the brush and then you hold the shift key and click again and you come down, it's going to draw a straight line or paint a straight line. So that's really good for, for drawing straight lines. Like watch, I'll click here and I'll come all the way down here and click again and see that straight line. I'll come back up, straight line, straight line. You see how that works. I need a straight line right here. So that's a good way to speed up your painting. These curves, you just have to kind of come in manually and do them. Now, if you went too far, hit the X key and come back and fix where you went a little too far. I'm getting a little bit of a halo there. So I'll come back and fix that. Maybe I messed up her skin right here. I'll fix that. See, I'm painting with black to hide what I just painted with white. So all of this looks weird. So I'm going to fix that little halo. Halos are a common problem. I'm going to fix that. Came in too far, so I had the X. So that's why the X key is so handy, because you can flip back and forth. Hit X again. Fix the skin tones. 
looks like I messed up right there. I'll hit X again, come back and try to fix that. Now what I can do is while I'm on this mask is I can feather it a bit. Remember, if you hold down the Alt or Option key, you can see your mask. You can see some of it's good, some of it's not good. So I can feather my mask just a, a tiny bit, just to make it more soft so I don't see my errors. Command zero to fit in the screen. Now my shoes match the dress and they match the overall color of the bars, of this kick plate on the door. Now let's turn all that off. And I'm clicking and dragging, which will shut off all eyeballs at once. I mean, this is a nice image, but I definitely believe that this makes your skin tones look, look better. The other ones, I think, had a definite yellow tint. And I think this really pulls the whole outfit together. It's a really quick way to change all the colors based on a specific color channel. If you like this video, make sure you whack it, smack it, and crack a lack it. Yes! Hey, what are you still doing here? It's over. Actually, all kidding aside, I hope this video helped. And if it did, consider subscribing. I like subscribers. That's awesome. What? You just took one in the jugular, man. Huh. Whoa. Yes! <laughs> God. Oh my God, I did. This is hey, you stayed to the end. You know what that means. You're awesome. I'm talking about you. Now get out of here.